I am going to make this uh, feminine napkin tampon dispenser uh, free. New state law mandates that these have to be, uh, that the uh, uh, feminine products have to be free in the bathrooms and the schools. I called the company and uh, talked to them about getting the coin dispensers. These uh, that are free rather than the 20 cents and they were rather expensive. So with enough uh, playing around with these things, I managed to figure out a way to uh, make these free. It's not perfect, but it does work. These were $49 each. So $100 just to do one dispenser uh, was a little bit high. Uh, first thing we have to do here is remove all of these old ones. And just them up on top since they're going to be free now anyway. These dispensers are probably from late 70s. They were here when I got started working here 16 years ago. In the last few years I hardly have ever had to fill these. I think in the last four or five years, I only got maybe 40 cents out of one of them. Um, they just don't use them that much anymore. I don't think there's even, you know, there's a dime or two in this one now. Remove these screws here. Now this unit is just, this whole thing is just gonna come right out. And then I'm gonna go to uh, my workbench and continue from there. Okay, so now I got the unit here. Uh, we're gonna remove these two screws in the back. You can see them right there. There's one right there. I'm only gonna do one side since uh, it's pretty much identical for both sides. One of these I did the other day had a couple of extra screws in the back. I don't think that was uh, standard from the factory. I think somebody, custodian maybe before me, had taken it apart for some reason. Yeah, see this one doesn't have it. Um, they had put these two screws in here. And uh, that was not normal of the other ones that I had done. Uh, see now the trick is, is to get this this plastic cover off without breaking it. Might have to get a different screwdriver. Here we go, we'll go a little bit more finer of a screwdriver here and just pop this thing off here. There's just a couple little, little sets holding it in there. You can see these little these little knobs sit down in there and hold it in there. So these right here is what keeps this thing from spinning back. These lock down into place. So if I take these see now that spring there helps. I, I did one and it was not quite uh, the way I'd like. It was really loose and kind of flapped around in there. So if you keep spinning this around, that, that could pop off. So I'll be careful playing around with it. Um, so now I'm just gonna put this back on, uh, just like this. And you gotta get this center piece to line up in here, because that is the, the piece that spins the rotor. just like that and it spins so now I'm just gonna put this back onto this rotor
stood around there. Guess that one. see that spins save myself uh, 49 bucks rather the school save the school 49 bucks and uh, I'm gonna do this side next so I have the coin dispensing mechanism back in there and uh, you can see everything spins uh, the biggest drawback to doing it this way is these mechanisms will spin both directions, which could be an issue um, getting things jammed up inside there. Um, I'm really not terribly concerned about it. Um, they just don't use these things very often. So if uh, a couple of these in here and show you what I'm doing right. So we have them in there, just like that. The uh, tampon side seems to work a lot better than the pad side. This big spinner here can be a little, little bit of a nuisance, but um, see that one kind of spins in there. It's not, it's not perfect. It's not ideal, uh, but it is free. Um, and again, the girls just don't really use these things that much. So it's mostly uh, just compliance. Um, a lot of them bring their own anymore. So that's uh, changing out them coin dispensers without having to spend 50 bucks for a new uh, coin unit.